Hello, and welcome to the first ever virtual graduation at URW College Australia for students in our academic and vocational programs. 2020 has taught us many new skills. We've all learnt to do so many things online this year, but we never would have imagined celebrating the achievements of our graduating students online. I hope you can sit back and enjoy this graduation from the comfort of your home and that you've been able to invite some family and friends to join you. Perhaps you've dressed up for the event or maybe you're wearing your COVID uniform of tracky pants and Ugg boots. Either way, we want to congratulate every one of you for your study success. My name is Heather Thomas and I'm the Deputy General Manager and Director of Global Programs at URW College. I've been working at the college for almost 24 years and I'm so proud to be part of the great team of staff at the college who, like me, are passionate about providing a pathway to future study and employment for our students. The college is a place where your teachers and all our staff work to support students and ensure that you are able to achieve your study goals. I can assure you that they really do care about you and your success in your studies. In tonight's proceedings, you will hear from the University of Wollongong Vice-Chancellor, Professor Paul Wellings, URW College General Manager, Felix Lansley, the Pro Vice-Chancellor Global, Professor Wilma Viala, the Academic Program Manager, Dr. Henry Lee, and the RTO Manager, Liz Thomas, as well as your fellow peers, Nathan Oyet and Lavana Wayne Boyle. To start our ceremony today, I would like to invite Jade Kennedy, who will walk us through the practice of acknowledging country. Jade is a proud Ewan man, and among other roles, is the chairperson of the Illawarra Local Aboriginal Lands Council. He is an academic developer and lecturer in Indigenous knowledges, who's leading and facilitating the internationally acclaimed Educational Development Grants Program, Jindayola. Uh, good morning, or good afternoon, or it may even be good evening, depending where you are as you're watching this. Uh, my name's Jay Kennedy and I'm a Ewan man from the Illawarra and south coast of New South Wales. And it's always an honour and privilege for me to be invited to welcome people to country. But I guess today, even though I'm standing here on the fringes of the University of Wollongong and on my country, it's not actually appropriate for me to welcome you fellas to country when we are actually not sharing the same place. It's also not appropriate for me to make an acknowledgement of country because see a welcome to country is performed by a recognised or acknowledged elder or knowledge holder from that particular country. And an acknowledgement of country is the formal response and a way of recognising and giving reverence to the particular place in which you're gathering. And so today what I want to actually do is ask you guys to engage in a practice with me that we call acknowledging country. It's an act of reverence that we can all do no matter where we are in time or where we are in place. So I'm going to ask you fellas to imagine in with me and I'm going to walk us through five different concepts. So what I'd say in this moment, if you could maybe look out the window or find a place that you're really familiar with. If you could just give yourself some space to imagine in to that first concept that we call country. I'm asking you guys to reflect on your place, where you are now. Do you know the Aboriginal name of this place? Do you know maybe the places of significance or sacredness? Do you know the specialness to Aboriginal people, the place of which you're in. Take a moment to think about your relationship with that particular place, with the physical aspects of the landscape in which you live. Secondly, I want to ask you guys to think about your kin. 
Think about the Aboriginal people of your place. Do you know their name? Do you know your relationship with them or your relationship with the significant people in your life and how that binds and connects you to your place? See, for us, acknowledging country is just as much about acknowledging the physical landscape as it is about acknowledging the interpersonal landscape. Who are the significant people in your life that connect you to your place? Who are the Aboriginal people that are custodians of the place in which you live? This is a moment for you to imagine into this. Thirdly, I'm gonna ask you guys to think about the culture of your place and the people that live within. Do you know some of the cultural things that are of the Aboriginal people of your place, where you are at this point in time. What is the way of your place and the people of your place? Do you have an understanding of the ways in which that informs your way of being in your place and time? And fourthly, I wanna ask you guys to think about the journey of your place. When we're acknowledging country when we're imagining in, when we're taking that moment, we want to be reflecting back as far as we can. Do you guys know any of the creation stories of your place? Or do you even know when your people came and started living in this particular place? What are the stories of your place? And this is a moment to reflect on them. And the fifth, concept that I'm going to ask you guys to be thinking about as we're acknowledging country is that of connectedness. And connectedness is the interrelationship of these other four concepts. It's how does your physical landscape and your physical relatedness relate to your interpersonal landscape and the kinship that you have that binds you to that place? How does that connect in and relate to the culture of your place and its people? And then how does the physical aspects, the interpersonal aspects and the cultural aspects translate and relate to the stories of your place, of its peoples and of its way? This is connectedness. And this is the way in which we can all acknowledge and be in acknowledgement of country, no matter where we are in place and time. So I'm wishing you fellas all the best in this moment. I'm asking you guys to connect in before you celebrate and enjoy the amazing achievements that you've made. Much respect, much love. Continue in peace and positivity. Thank you. Thank you, Jade. The college highly values our collaboration with local Indigenous people and as well as that, the participation of many of our staff in the Jindayola program has been one of the positive highlights for 2020. Now we're going to hear from the General Manager of URW College, Felix Lansley. Hello graduates, family, friends and college staff. My name is Felix Lansley and I'm the General Manager of UOW College Australia. As we are not able to celebrate your achievements at the college in person, I still wanted to ensure that we did not let the opportunity to observe your successes go by unmarked. In many ways, an online ceremony is the most appropriate way to take stock of what you have achieved in what has been such an extraordinary year for everyone, not least for people studying here and around the world. Among the speakers you will hear from in this ceremony, we are very privileged to have the Vice-Chancellor of the University of Wollongong, Professor Paul Wellings, who will be conducting the keynote address. At each graduation, as General Manager of the College, I tell the students how proud I am to be standing here celebrating their achievements. I repeat this message to you now. I am very proud of how all of you have managed to adapt to the online learning environment. You have taken this special journey with us, shifting teaching and studying online, learning how to use new technologies, working out how to be part of an educational experience which is not conducted face to face. This has not been a smooth journey for students or teachers, but you have persevered and we have learned together. 
On behalf of the staff at the college, I would like to congratulate each of you, our graduands, on your achievement. We understand the commitment you have made that has enabled you to be here in a position to graduate. The programs you have successfully completed are not easy. They require hard work and many sacrifices. But you have made it, and you too must be feeling very proud. Congratulations to all of you and good luck. Thank you, Felix. It's my real pleasure now to introduce the Vice-Chancellor of the University of Wollongong, Professor Paul Wellings, who will bring the keynote address this evening. Professor Wellings is a huge supporter of the college and we're very grateful for the words of encouragement he has to share today. Thank you, Heather. And thank you to my colleagues at UAW College for this opportunity to address graduating students from college academic and vocational programs in 2020. While I'm unable to join our graduates in person, I'm pleased to be able to congratulate you all via this video message. I would like to take the opportunity to particularly welcome those here who have given their support, encouragement and guidance to our graduating students. It's certainly been a year where everyone has had to adapt to doing things differently. As the British mathematician Peter Hilton said, adaptability to change is itself a hallmark of a successful education. The world has been rapidly changing over the past decade and the coronavirus pandemic has accelerated the need to adapt and transform. While this unique time in history makes us anxious and unsure, it may also make us more determined more determined to find opportunity amid the challenges, more determined to contribute to our communities. The programs at the University and UAW College are equipping our graduates with the skills that are reshaping the future of work. They're industry related with a strong focus on encouraging creative and critical thinking, problem solving and the development of leadership skills. By working closely with industry, we're ensuring that our graduates are gaining the right knowledge and skills to be work ready for the jobs of the future. These partnerships also help support emerging industries and regenerate traditional industries through the uptake of new technologies. In turn, this supports the economic development and sustainability of our communities. UOW's also driving the transformation of education to ensure our graduates are highly sought after by employers. Lifelong learning is now a necessity. Today's school leavers are expected to have 17 jobs over five careers in their lifetime as traditional jobs are being replaced by technology and automation. We've seen through the experience of the pandemic that many people have reskilled to embark on a new career or upskilled in their jobs. UOW has a strong role to play in promoting the importance of lifelong learning. We have mutually beneficial partnerships with schools, pathway providers and broader communities to enable students to be the best they can be. Through UOW College, we deliver a personalised approach to student transition to ensure pathways to success and further study. The college delivers quality academic pathway programs and vocational courses that encourage lifelong learning. These programs also help upskill employees, particularly at a time when workers have been displaced by the COVID-19 pandemic. It's important to note that access to skilling pathways not only enhances employability, but also social well-being. It provides a global perspective and opens the doors to further higher education learning possibilities. With its pathway programs available at multiple locations, work at the college is aligned to the university's commitment to growing the economy, creating jobs and reinvigorating our communities. This has become even more important as we now focus on projects to assist recovery and help shape future resilience following the bushfire crisis and COVID-19. Programs at multiple locations 
also enable us to work closely with our communities to drive increased participation and attainment amongst underrepresented groups. The desire to help communities socially, culturally and economically lies at the core of this university. This is reflected in our graduates who have a sense of commitment to give back to our communities and to make a difference. We hope the knowledge and skills you have gained along the way will help you play a full, full and active role in your field or profession and in the wider community. I encourage you to maintain active and continuing links with your fellow graduates. Through your studies with the college and your graduation tonight, you are now part of the UOW story. You've taken a big step towards a big step forward towards positioning yourselves to a future where your skills and knowledge will be in demand. I congratulate you on your graduation and wish you every success in the future. I encourage you to maintain a lifelong connection with the university, knowing that you have our support wherever you may go. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Wellings. I really appreciated what you had to say about adapting to change as a hallmark of a successful education. 2020 has certainly shown us the truth of that, as well as teaching us that we never stop learning. Now, on behalf of UOW Global Enterprises, the Pro Vice Chancellor Global, Professor Wilma Viala, is going to bring a message of congratulations. Professor Viala is an inspiring leader who is passionate about education, so I know you're going to enjoy hearing from her. Graduands, it gives me the greatest pleasure to add my congratulations on behalf of UOW Global Enterprises on this fabulous event. You've all had different journeys to get to this point in time. They have been very different. Each one of you has had to navigate a, a difficult time. And this year, of course, as we've already heard, is even more difficult than usual. But you have succeeded. You stand here virtually with your cohort of successful students from UOW College Australia. And your pathway now is open before you. You can move forward with pride in a great accomplishment that you've already made um, and look forward to a bright future as a result of this. And I do wish you every success in whichever pathway you take from this point moving forward. We are very proud of UOW College Australia and the work that it does with people who come from different backgrounds uh, and are looking for those opportunities to recreate a future for themselves. Well done, congratulations and onwards. Thank you, Professor Viala. Up next, we have the program managers for our academic and vocational programs who are going to tell us about the students who have won awards for excellence in their course. We're going to hear from Dr. Henry Lee, the academic program manager, and Liz Thomas, the RTO manager at UOW College. These great people are responsible for ensuring that the courses you have studied are of the highest quality at all times. And I know that they are excited about the achievements of all the students in their programs. Executive members of UOW and UOW College, teachers and graduates, I would now present to you the 2020 Outstanding Achievement Awards for the academic programs. These awards go to the students who have achieved the most outstanding results in each program. The Outstanding Achievement Award for the Foundation Studies Program, Ti Ha Tu Le, Fiong Mai Fan, and Miguel Antonio Penila de Croix. From the University Entrance Certificate, Joshua Waters, Talia Christofides, and Chelsea Bamba. From the STEP Program, Erin Tabley. From the University Access Program, Thomas Bushell, 
and Ryan Borland. From the Diploma of Business, Alan Cheng and Nathan Oyet. From the Diploma of Engineering, Min Dang Nguyen. From the Diploma of Information Technology, Zishu Lin and Rui Kao. Again, congratulations to the recipients of the 2020 Outstanding Achievement Awards. And we come now to the Don Lewis Award. Professor Don Lewis has always taken an active interest in UOW College. This reflects his conviction to see students achieve their potential through education. We would like to thank him for his kindness and encouragement. The UOW College Step High Achiever Award, a notable achievement, is awarded to two students with the highest average mark for all subjects over the duration of the STEP program. The 2020 Don Lewis Award for their outstanding achievements in the STEP program goes to Shaban Haywood and Nicholas Wilson. Congratulations to the recipients of the 2020 Don Lewis Award. I now present to you the names of the 2020 UOW College Australia Academic Program graduates. Congratulations and well done to you all. Executive members of UOW and UOW College, teachers and graduates, I now present to you the 2020 Outstanding Achievement Awards for the vocational programs. These awards go to the students who have displayed excellence throughout their studies. The Outstanding Achievement Award for the Diploma of Nursing is Georgia Greenland and Hannah Pearson. From the Certificate 3 in Fitness, Kiara Ortega and Sandy Paul. From the Certificate 4 in Fitness, Zara Abdulrahim. Again, congratulations to the recipients of the 2020 Outstanding Achievement Awards. I now present to you the names of the 2020 UOW College Australia Vocational Program graduates. Congratulations and well done to you all.
Thank you so much, Henry and Liz, and special congratulations to all our award-winning students and graduates. The real highlight of our college graduation ceremonies is hearing from some of our students about their experience of study with the college. Today, we're going to hear from Nathan Oyet and Lavana Wayne Boyle. Nathan completed his Diploma of Business in June 2020. He is also a peer assisted leader and a member of the College Education Committee representing our students. Lavana completed her Cert 3 and 4 in Fitness in May 2020 and has used her skills and knowledge to successfully secure a career in the fitness industry. Good evening graduates, professors and teachers. My name is Lavana Wayne Boyle and in May 2020 I completed the Certificate 3 and 4 in Fitness at UOW College. Firstly, a huge congratulations to all graduates. 2020 has been a particularly challenging year in the face of COVID-19. For those studying, it has presented a number of curveballs. We've had to adapt to remote learning and a different way of living. Despite this, all of you sitting here today have shown resilience and commitment, which is something to be commended. Having been impacted by the effects of COVID-19 during my own studies, I'd like to thank the college for adapting so quickly and supporting us all through this time, allowing us to continue our education and experience this virtual graduation. My time at UOW College was instrumental in helping me realise and achieve the career goals I would ultimately pursue. Upon completion of my Year 12 studies, I was unsure of what I wanted my future to look like. I initially began work as a legal administrative assistant and eventually came to realise this type of work wasn't for me. As a result, I took a step back and re-evaluated where my passions really lay. Since a young age, I have developed a love of exercise and now participate in netball at a Premier League level. This led me to consider the possibility of combining my interests in fitness, health and wellbeing, whilst forging a career that was right for me. I was recommended the fitness course at UOW College by a friend who was studying at the time. I took their advice and enrolled, and quickly came to realise I had chosen the best possible path to pursuing my ambitions. My experiences at UOW College have greatly impacted my growth as an individual and professional. Through mentoring and constructive feedback, my teachers and instructors ensured that at the completion of my studies, I had not only the qualifications, but also the knowledge, skills, and self-confidence to successively enter into a career path I love. Furthermore, with the help of the work experience opportunities offered through the college, I was fortunate enough to secure employment in the fitness industry upon graduation. As a gym instructor and personal trainer at Recreate Women's Fitness, I feel confident in my ability to assist my clients in making exercise a consistent and lifelong habit. I know I can attribute this self-assurance to my time at UOW College and the support, resources and opportunities I was provided access to. Your choice to pursue an education through UOW College will have equipped you with a special ability to apply your practical skills to your passions. The opportunities you have created for yourself by committing yourself to your studies are something to be celebrated. I am privileged to join you virtually in recognising your achievements and wish you every success in the future. Regardless of what each of you choose to pursue, feel confident that you have gained experience at a college which prides itself on ensuring its students are afforded the best educational experience possible. I will certainly look back on my time at the college with fondness, and I hope you do too. Once again, congratulations to all you college graduates of 2020, and I wish you all the very best as you embark on the next chapter of your education journey. Thank you. Congratulations on completing your study at UW College. For some of you, this just marks the beginning of your journey at university and for, for others, the opportunity to get into a profession that they desire. My name is Nathan Yet, a former college student and a current finance student at UOW, and I'm honored to be addressing you, the graduating class of spring session 2020. I'm Ugandan by origin, 
having left my country a little bit over a, while, a year ago to pursue my higher education in Australia. I was fortunate enough to be offered a scholarship by UW College, which were offered to students from various developing countries, including my own. It's not until I arrived here that I realized offering students funding was just the beginning of the opportunities and support the college sought to offer. One of these was the teaching staff's unique approach to teaching that I'd honestly never experienced before. In this approach, teaching staff endeavored not only to equip students with the knowledge in a given subject area, but also spark an interest in the students. An interest that went on to fuel curiosity in the students and the desire to explore subject-related knowledge, leading some to build a passion for something they were not even initially interested in. On top of that, the college endeavored so much to provide as much academic and personal support as possible through mentorship and counseling programs, which I found fundamental in my pursuit for higher education and personal fulfillment. Some people say that confidence stems from preparation and that success is the outcome when preparation meets opportunity. The word preparation appears in both these statements with the purpose of signifying its importance, not only as you pursue your education and career ambitions, but also its importance as you aim to succeed in life. I went on to take advantage of the opportunities and resources provided to me by the college while investing my efforts into preparation along the way to grow as an educated individual and also as a person. I did this through asking questions where possible, still seeking help where it was due, and in essence, being a sponge that enabled me to absorb as much knowledge to better myself as a student, as well as, a, as better my prospects. At the end of my college journey, my efforts came to fruition, and I was beyond pleased to top my diploma of business class, and along the way, recruited to join the college peer learning staff, which I saw as a chance to give back to an institution and community that had given me so much already in form of opportunity, knowledge and relationships, which served me well even to this day. On getting to the university, I seized the opportunity to found the first investment management society, which is catered to students interested in a career in investment, an area which I'm very much passionate about, which since its launch a few months ago has gained a record number of new members. My final word to you is that success is not a sudden outcome, but rather a product that is brewed through cultivation of habits, such as preparation, focus, and goal setting. My assurance to you is that this will best position you to seize opportunities as they come your way and will drive you to achieve milestones in your university journey and life in general. Once again, congratulations to all college graduates of 2020, and I wish all the very best as you embark on your next chapter of your education journey. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nathan and Lavana. I am totally inspired by everything you have shared with us and the ways in which you've faced the challenge of life and grabbed hold of the great opportunity that studying can bring. I know you're all going to enjoy the next part of our graduation today. We have some special messages from some of your teachers and some photos of many of our students to share with you. To the amazing graduate class of 2020, wow, what incredible people you are. It really makes my head spin to think about all the possibilities and all the adventures that you guys are gonna have through life. You've already made the world a better place and I know you're gonna to continue to do that with increasing capability because of who you are. It was a privilege to have taught you and to get to know you, and I really wish you guys uh, true happiness for the future. Congratulations. Hi everyone, I just wanted to congratulate you on your graduation from UOW College. You're all here today because of your hard work and determination, and these are the skills that are going to serve you well in the rest of your educational studies. So just remember, work hard, be persistent in the face of challenges, and then celebrate all of the small achievements along the way. Okay, wishing you all the best. Bye. Congratulations to all our graduating students and well done for staying motivated and working hard in such a difficult um, year, a difficult in time learning online and all the best 
for your future studies. Stephanie. Hello graduating students. My name is Eileen Bodie and I'm a tutor on the University Access Program. I want to start by saying how proud I am of your achievements in um, learning in this very difficult time in 2020. You've had to deal with isolation and with the difficulties of learning online. I'm so very proud of you for this and I just want to say as a teacher, it's such a privilege to be part of your educational journey. For most of you now, the door of university is open to you and so in the words of Robin Williams from the movie Dead Poets Society, carpe diem, seize the day. The world needs your energy, your ideas, your capacity to make it a better place. So I just want to say again how proud I am of your achievements and hats off to you, class of 2020. Hi all, I'm Mercedes Hinchcliffe with the UOW College Academic Program and I'd like to wish you all a sincere congratulations on the completion of your program here with us. And whether or not your journey continues with us at the University of Wollongong or if you're now entering into the work workplace, I do wish you every great success. Congratulations again and best wishes. So we come together today to celebrate the achievements of the graduating class of 2020 by doing the blessing of the hands. This is an old tradition that celebrates the commitment that it takes to BMX. So if you would like to get some hand cream um, or sanitizer, you can join in our tradition. So this blessing is for those who tend to be injured and sick. Please bless their heads to be level and please bless their knowledge to stick. Please bless their hearts with kindness to offer love and care. Please bless their physical bodies so that their wellness they can share. I wish you peace and grace as you begin each day. May each of you be blessed and as called, now go upon your way. And I'd just like to say congratulations to the class of 2020. Well done. Well, that brings our first virtual graduation to a close. We hope you've been inspired and encouraged and that every one of you has had a chance to reflect and think about what you have achieved in completing your UOW college study. I wish I could see your faces and congratulate every one of you in person, but please know how proud all the staff at the college are of your achievements. And we do wish you all the best and huge success in the future. Don't forget to drop by the college when the doors are open again and catch up with your teachers and friends to let them know how you're getting on. We love to hear from our past students. Congratulations again to all of you and thanks for joining us.